Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze if we differentiate or integrate the step input or ramp input, what will be the output on the DSO. As you know, if we integrate the step input, we'll get the response of ramp input on. Or if we differentiate this uh, step input, we'll get the impulse response. So we will today practically visualize this uh, response on the DSO. As you can see here, we have the DSO here. Also, we have the input here. First of all, what I will do, I will give the input that is square input or we can say the step input. From here, we can give the square input or step input through this wire it is coming out and this wire is connected to the probe. Now I will connect this probe on the DSO. As you can see, the square input is coming on the DSO. So we can increase or decrease the amplitude from here as well as here. As you know, if we integrate this square input, we will get the ramp output or if we differentiate this uh, square input or step input, we'll get the impulse response. We will see practically how this impulse response will come. It is very interesting how this impulse res response will come on the DSO. Let us now see practically how this output will come out. Now we'll connect the input or you can see the uh, square input through this black wire. And uh, you can see here we have a connector, this connector. Oh, first I will connect, uh, connect this in to the differentiator. So uh, what we will do, we will differentiate the square input and we will get the impulse response. Now I will uh, connect the probe here and you can see the impulse response on the DSO. So we have the square input as well as the impulse response. First, this is the, in this is the input, the square input. And now we are getting input as well as the output. This is the impulse response, the blue one. You can only see the impulse response here. You can see this is the impulse response. So by differentiating the square input, we are getting the impulse out at the uh, impulse response very interesting now what i will do i will integrate this uh, step input as uh, you know if we integrate this step input we will get the ramp output ramp response you can see we are getting the ramp response by integrating the square input or the step input you can see here we have the input as well as the output response the uh, yellow one is the input and the blue one is the output now what we will do we will change the input as till now we had the square input now we will get the ramp input as you know if we will get the ramp input then if we will differentiate it first we will get the step response as you can see on the dso we will get the step response by differentiating the ramp input we will uh, get the step response on the output let us see it on the dso as i have given the ramp input uh, and now I uh, and I am giving the differentiator here, so I should get the step input. As you can see, we are getting the step input. I will switch the channel one off. You can see here, we are getting the step input. You can see here. Now what I will do, I will uh, I will re remove the differentiator here, and I will give the integrator. Now I will connect this connector on the integrator. As I have given the ramp input, as you can see, the yellow one is the ramp input. I will get the parabolic response because I have integrated the ramp. So I will get the parabolic response. You can see the yellow one is the ramp input and the blue one is the parabolic response. So this is all about, so we have integrated as well as the differentiate, differentiated the signal. So this is all about it. Thank you very much.